Hi, my name is Angelica and welcome to 10 Minute Posture Fix. This is a class to reverse that computer hunch. This class uses arm weights, so if you're female, you want to have two pound arm weights or less, so one pound or two pound. If you're male, you want to have three pounds or less. If you don't have arm weights, you can also use water bottles or canned goods. So let's get started. So start by standing on the mat in Pilates stance. And Pilates stance is heels together, toes apart, but more specifically, it's toes as wide as one fist. So put that fist between your big toes. That is how wide you want your stance. And then for some people, their calves touch or their knees touch. So if that's the case for you, you will have calves or knees together and toes apart and your heels will, will not be able to touch and that's totally fine. But you still don't wanna widen your feet so far that you end up with your core pushing out and your butt pushing out and your shoulders back and your head forward. So that's why we have a narrow stance between the toes when we're standing in Pilates stance. So once you're in your Pilates stance, Imagine there's a string attached to the top of your head and that string is being pulled up to the ceiling. The other way to achieve this posture is to stand against a wall and put your heels directly on the wall and then the back of your thighs and your butt and your shoulder blades and your head will all press as close to the wall as they can get and that's gonna lengthen your posture and engage your core. And if you have arm weights, you're gonna hold those arm weights so they dangle down like this if you have water bottles or soup cans, you're just gonna grip them like this because those are a bit harder to hold with just a couple fingers. And we're gonna start with a roll down. So like there's a wall behind you and you're peeling off the wall one bone at a time, you're just gonna round forward. If you actually are on a wall, for this one, just step away from the wall. And then once you've rounded all the way forward, let the arm weights heavily pull your arms down to the mat and just make tiny circles with the arms. Just let them dangle and reverse that circle. If your neck feels tight, shake your head no and drop your head heavier. And let the dangling come to a stop. And once it has stopped, squeeze your inner thighs together to stack your spine up tall. And let the weight of the arm weights pull your shoulder blades down your back. And now I'm gonna to turn to the side so you guys can see me. We're gonna do that one more time. So the arms are nice and heavy and loose. Roll down through the spine. Don't try to control your arms, just let gravity take them, let gravity take your head. Shake your head no, drop your head. And just circle the arms. And reverse the circle and let the circling come to a stop and stack your spine up tall. And now you can see me from the side and what does my posture look like when I stack up tall? My shoulder goes all the way down as far away from my ear as it can. Okay, now you wanna fully grip these weights. So uh, I see a lot of the times the pinky fingers won't grip as hard as the other fingers. So even your pinky fingers are gripping your arm weights or your water bottles as hard as they can. And start by lifting your elbows a little tiny bit lower than your shoulders. If your shoulders feel tight and they're lifting up, just widen your elbows a little bit. Pull your shoulder blades down your back and stretch your arms out in front of you and then bend them in for a bicep curl. And this is where if you do have a wall, it is very helpful to stand with your heels against the wall and your shoulder blades against the wall. It's gonna keep you in good posture. Exhale, curl, inhale out. Every time you stretch your arms out, don't let your shoulders go up to your ears. Pull your shoulders away from your ears the whole time. Inhale out, exhale in. So we're not just working our biceps, we're working our upper back. Exhale, curl it in. Now we're gonna widen our elbows, maybe about five inches away from each other, and inhale to go out, exhale to come in. If you wanna work your core even more, lean forward a little bit, and that means if you're on a wall, your heels will stay on the wall, everything else will lean off the wall. Inhale, stretch out, exhale, curl in. 
Are you working your upper back? You don't have to turn around, but I'm gonna turn around so that you can see how much my upper back is working. It's really, really strong. Yes, my arms are working. Yes, we're doing arm weights, but we are focused on strengthening the back muscles to fix the posture. One more time, inhale out, exhale, curl it in. Now bring your elbows down by the sides of your body and stretch your arms straight down. And now that your arms are reaching down, lengthen the top of your head up. Imagine that string attached to the top of your head. Exhale, curl. Inhale down. Exhale, curl. Again, if you want to challenge it, I'll show you from the side. Find a slight forward lean. So now my core has to work harder, my glutes have to work harder. Inhale down. Open the chest as you stretch down. Exhale, curl. Inhale down. Exhale, curl. And rest your arms down by your sides. So now I wanna show you a bit of a harder exercise, but I really like this exercise for the posture, for the upper back posture. It, it's gonna be a pretty small range of motion because it is a really much harder arm weight exercise. So you don't have to turn to the side, but I'm turning so you can see. Now your palms are going to face backwards and you're just going to press your arms back. And when you can't press back any further, you're going to try to bend your elbows and the arm weights will lift higher, but they won't go closer to your body. Now the arm weights are going to come close to the sides of your body, right, in, right near the sides of your thighs, and press back down. So we go back with the arms. We try to hold it here, bend the elbows, lift the arm weights higher. Bring the arm weights in line with the body, press down. One more time, pressing back. You can see how that helps your upper back. Lifting up, coming forward and down. Can you reverse that? Can you lift up? And then can you press back and straighten the elbows and bring it back down? Every time you come back down by your sides, you can stretch your shoulder further away from your ears. So we bend and we slide right up the seam of the pants. We go back and then we straighten and come down. One more time, sliding up the side seams of the pants, bringing the tricep and elbow backwards, keeping the tricep and elbow all the way back there as we try to straighten and press down. Good, that one's a bit harder. Okay, arm weights or water bottles will now go in, in front of your body. And anytime we bring the arms closer than shoulder width apart, our back can start to hunch. So just pinch the shoulder blades together to keep that upper back posture, to keep the upper back engaged. And we're gonna do kind of like sparklers. Some people call this exercise sparklers, but we're just gonna circle our arms up to the ceiling. So here we go, circling up eight, seven, six, five, four, pinky fingers are working, two, one, reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This time as you go up, you're gonna come onto your tiptoes. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No hunching, reverse, seven, six, and the heels lower down, four, three, two, one. Repeat that one more time. I'm gonna show you it from the side. Heels together, toes apart, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are your pinky fingers squeezing? Reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're zipping up the front of the body. This one's a little bit trickier. So let the arm weights or water bottles touch and pull the belly button in. And as your arm weights zip up the front of your body, I want you to try to pull your shoulder blades down. So inhale to zip up, don't go past your belly button. Pull, pinch the shoulder blades together. Exhale, push down, grow the head taller out of the shoulders. Inhale, zip up, growing taller. Exhale to push down. I'll show you from behind. I want you to see how hard the upper back needs to work. Inhale to zip up. I'm trying to pinch my shoulder blades together. Can you see that? and exhale to push down, head grows taller, shoulders go down more, 
Inhale to zip up, pinch those shoulder blades. Exhale to press down. Good, challenge that, flip the breathing. Can you exhale to come up? And inhale and really expand the chest to push down. Exhale to zip up. Inhale down. Open the chest, expand the ribs. One more time, exhale to zip up. Inhale, push down. Can you get more of a stretch between shoulders and ears? Beautiful, okay. Shake out your arms, sometimes they get tired. And the last one we're gonna do is called chest expansion. So I'm gonna turn to the side and show you from the side because that's gonna be the most helpful view for you. Make sure your heels are together, toes are apart. Start with your arms parallel to the floor. Grip, again, as hard with the pinky fingers as every other finger. Inhale, press the arms down by your sides. They could even go a little past the side seam of your pants. Look to your left, look to your right. Look center, exhale, let the arms lift back up. And again, inhale as you go down. I'm trying to pinch my shoulder blades together and open my chest. This is called chest expansion. Now look to your right, don't move your left shoulder. Look to your left, don't move your right shoulder. Look center, exhale, the arms lift up, the shoulders go down. We do not want this to happen, okay? So don't lift your arm with your trapezius muscle. Lift your arm with your back muscles. Pinch those shoulder blades together. Let's try it again. This time we're gonna come onto our tiptoes. Arms in front of you parallel to the floor. Inhale, press the arms down, lift the heels up. So a little bit more challenging. Look left, look right. Look center, and exhale, the arms go up, the heels go down, the shoulders go down. Last one, inhale, press the arms, lift the heels. Use your core, pull your belly button in. Look right, look left, look center. Shoulders go down, arms go up, heels go down. And then with really beautiful posture, lower your arms down, grow your head taller and you're done with your posture fix. So thank you so much for joining me. Definitely check out the other Pilates videos. They're gonna keep you in really good alignment. They're gonna keep your posture nice and strong, and I'll see you again soon.